Neil is a musician, an artist, and a cyborg. That's an antenna surgically implanted in his skull. That's actually attached to you, right? Yeah, that's uh, an antenna, a human antenna implant. He identifies as a cyborg. It's feeling that you're not using technology and that you're not wearing technology. It's feeling that you are technology. By definition, a cyborg is a person whose human skills are enhanced by technology. As devices increasingly take over our lives, some people are actually putting technology into their bodies. Neil, who's colorblind, says his antenna allows him to hear color. So this is very blue. Blue. It converts the frequencies from different colors into the frequencies for different sounds. Why in the first place did you decide to attach this to yourself? I didn't want to wear technology. I wanted to, this to be a, an integral part of me, so that's what, how I kept developing it until I found a doctor that actually drilled my head and made it implanted. How did you find a doctor well, who agreed to, uh, to put that in your head? That was very complex because there's bioethical committees that don't really agree with the union between humans and technology. So in the end, I did find one and then he did it anonymously. So he did the implant. His partner, Moon, is also a self-described cyborg. She wears an antenna that she says vibrates every time there's an earthquake. I'm a choreographer and I want to perceive movement in the deeper way I can. If I was alone in the planet, what movement would I be able to feel? Then I, I realized there was earthquakes. And one particular cyborg sees business opportunity in embeddable technology. Emil Grafstra sells chips people can implant inside their bodies. I think we've sold probably around two to 3,000 implants uh, across all the different types. Emil has one in each hand and uses it to scan into his car, home, and personal safe. Essentially what I've done is taken a, an RFID access card and moved it from a pants pocket to a skin pocket. It sounds futuristic, but Neil envisions a world where implantable tech and surgical add-ons could give people superhuman abilities. We'll meet someone and we'll see that maybe they have a new body part, and then the question is what sense you have. So that will be a question that we'll ask people. Lori Siegel, CNN Money, New York. All right, shalom. Giving all praise to Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. Them honors to the elders of Israel, the elders of Great Millstone, and uh, shalom to the elect all over the world. Um, I just showed a, a video from um, CNN uh, entitled Cyborg Implants, Antenna, and Skull. Okay. Now, um, I got an article up pertaining to uh, that video. Which is going to give a little bit uh, more insight on uh, this um, this guy that's attached an antenna to his skull. Now, all of this has to do with uh, the future of Esau's so-called te te technological world, which is now merging with humans, which is uh, known. Uh, in the world popularly as transhumanism okay and um, what's going on now is uh, Esau uh, is making a major push uh, for the, the blending between man and machine okay which is another method of pushing the mark of the beast which is the RFID and you uh, saw another guy in the clip who actually had the mark of the beast implanted within his right hand, okay, which he used to open up uh, uh, his, uh, the door of his home, his uh, his personal safe, to start his uh, his vehicle, his car, okay, and every day, okay, every day there's all kinds of news articles, videos, things coming out of the mark of the beast, okay these different technologies RFID okay and the different um, ways that humans can actually implant um, these technologies within their own body okay so the headline on the article reads antenna attached to skull gives man sixth sense to make up for color blindness okay 
And this also goes into um, Obamacare um, and the medical world as well because uh, uh, this guy here, he has color blindness. So in, in, in order to uh, help with that, he has an implant. Now, within the uh, Obamacare health care bill, the Affordable Health Care Act, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the the article reads in the health care bill about class two devices, okay, that are approved, okay, by the government to be used on humans to um, basically implant them with different technologies to help out with their ailments, okay. And this guy here is just one of them those different people, okay? Uh, it says here in the article, it says when Neil Harbison gets out, when Neil Harbison gets out of a car, the antenna coming out of his head sometimes gets stuck in branches. It's one of the things he had to get used to when he became a cyborg. A cyborg is another name for a transhumanist. So this thing is getting really... Uh, mainstream now okay it says protruding from the back of harvest and skull is a metal antenna that allows him to convert the frequencies for color into frequencies for sound and vice versa he was born colorblind and the appendage has essentially given him a sixth sense to make up for what his vision lacks okay to see harvest and walk down the street is to see the convergence of wearable technology now you got all kinds of wearable technologies coming out, okay? Uh, um, you got these different uh, smart watches, okay? Produced by these different um, companies, okay? You have um, um, other wearable technologies, okay? There's a technology out there to where, um, uh, because it's summertime, a lot of kids drown in the pool. So there's developers out there that has developed a wearable technology for uh, the wrist or for the forehead, okay, to where um, it would uh, alert their smartphones or their computers whether or not um, a child is drowning, okay, or anybody's drowning, okay. But that's part of this wearable technology, which is essentially transhumanism, okay. Uh, reconstructive surgery and art with a touch of hipster so that's what it's all about okay it's about making things hip okay and the chip is going to become hip okay it says to see uh, it says but it's all it's also the hallmark of a growing trend okay because that's how Esau is is going to get people to take this chip by making it trendy by making it hip it says as technology takes over our lives some people are inserting it in their bodies Cyborgs are people who use technology to enhance their senses or natural human abilities. Uh, a malgrafter sells implantable RFID chips, which is the mark of the beast, okay, through his website, Dangerous Things. How ironic. It's called Dangerous Things, you know. It says he has an RFID chip in each hand. Traffic has increased from one sale a week in 2012 when he launched the site to at least one a day now. He sells two injection kits for fifty-seven dollars and ninety-nine dollars, and he estimates that he sold two to three thousand chips total. Implants can allow for cool functionality, right? It says implants can allow for cool functionality. So they're going to market a lot of these implants and these RFID chips to uh, uh, kids, you know, high school kids, you know, elementary school kids, you know, as cool, okay? Uh, Grafters, for example, allow him to open his car door by scanning his hand against his windshield, but there are also some obstacles. Here are six. New height. Okay. Um, cyborg parts come in different shapes and sizes. Harbison's antenna makes him significantly taller. Okay. Um, scroll down. Uh, no MRIs. For people like Grafster with RFID tags implanted in their bodies, an MRI might be tricky. Okay, so these is this will be a bug that Esau will have to work out with these um uh these uh these these marks, okay, or these uh microchips. Alright. It says the chip itself is safe and compatible with the test, 
according to Grafster, but the image around the implant would uh, implant will become out will come out blurred. If a cyborg, and they're going to keep pushing this uh, word too, cyborg. If a cyborg needed a scan of the area immediately surrounding his chip, he would have to get it removed. And you can't remove um, these chips once you get them, okay? Because they the the chips um, bond with the skin tissue underneath your um, your skin, okay? Um, balance can get out of whack. Harvesting gets visibly dizzy when its antenna is off center. Moving it slightly to the left, he closed his eyes and said, If I do this, I feel unbalanced. It does feel like a body part, an extension of a bone or something. Um, security guards can be unsympathetic. Sometimes security guards ask, to rem uh, ask me to remove the antenna, Harbison says. Uh, for years, people have assumed his appendage was intended for nefarious or invasive uses. In 2006, when it was still in the test phase and not permanently implanted, people thought it was a microphone and asked him to start recording. In 2009, they thought it was a Bluetooth telephone. Today, they assume it's a video camera. Not that the antenna is a permanent fixture within his body. When he's asked to take it off, he simply says he can't. And a way to avoid that, they're just going to give him a chip. Okay? They're going to give him a chip. It's going to be implanted inside. So no worries. Okay, people can be mean. The range of reactions Harbison says he elicits spans from laughter to scowls. He says people shout at him and has even have even thrown things. He's come up with a simple antidote. He's leaving Spain where he's lived for many years. That's why I'm in New York. Cause in New York I feel more normal. Cause ain't nothing in New York or America but a bunch of freaks, faggots, uh, um, uh, lesbians pedophiles okay true pedophiles all right which is so-called white man and a bunch of other uh 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 abominable damn creatures walk around in babylon the great so he feels more comfortable in babylon the great okay and um this just goes on to prove that um that mark of the beast is going to be um Something that's going to be presented as something cool or hip or trendy for people to get. Okay. All right. Now, there's all kinds of different people uh, 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 calling themselves cyborgs or transhumanists that are trying to uh, uh, make a new movement. Okay. In America. And that's just another way for Esau to put this chip. Okay. So that was it on the article. Um, antenna attached to skull gives man six cents to make up for color blindness, uh, which came out July 31st, uh, 2014, which was originally um, posted by CNN, which that's where I got the video from. Okay, but um, according to the, the the scriptures, to be a, a cyborg or a transhumanist or to get these RFID chips, okay, that's against the laws of the Bible. Okay, that's against the laws of the Heavenly Father and that he set up. Okay, and I'm going to prove that. All right. And uh, I have here uh, Leviticus 19 and 28. All right. It says, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am Yahweh. Okay. So you're not supposed to be um, attaching anything to your body. Okay, artificially, okay, that's against the laws of the Heavenly Father. Okay, now, now you got this guy, uh, Deacon Asaph in the IUIC, who says he'll be the first one to take the chip. Okay, well, according to the scriptures, you're not supposed to be uh, 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 um, getting anything underneath your skin or underneath your flesh. Okay, because IUIC, they're all about the law. They're all about pushing the laws and 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 and, and uh, keeping the commandments. Well, he just blatantly said he's gonna break a commandment, and that's to get um, a cutting in your flesh. All right. Now the word for cutting in the Hebrew is um, is a sharat. 
Okay? You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. And the word for cuttings is sharat, okay? Which goes into uh, even uh, transhumanism or to, or to be a cyborg. And uh, the word sharat means incision or cut, okay? Um, a cutting, incision, which in order to get uh, like that Edomite had, he had a, um antenna attached to his head, okay? Well, according to the law, you're not supposed to get that. Okay. You're not supposed to be a cyborg. Okay. That's against the Heavenly Father. And that's another reason why America is going to be destroyed. Okay. Because America pushes um, um, uh, things that, that are against God. But they claim to be a God fearing nation, a Christian nation. Okay. So America must be destroyed for that. Okay. So you're not supposed to be getting no um, cuttings. And then it mentions mark, right? It mentions uh, marks. Not to print any marks upon you. I am the Lord, Yahweh. Okay? And the Hebrew word for mark there is kwai kwai. Alright? So when you get the word kwai kwai, alright, which is here, kwai kwai, alright, it says incision, alright, which is a cutting. Which is the same as um, Sharat, okay? Imprintment, tattoo, mark. All right. I just did a, a lesson on Revelation 13, 16 through 18, and mark in the Greek is the same as uh, mark in the Hebrew. It's a, a, an incision, an imprintment, something engraved under your skin. Okay. So so that's against the uh, the uh, word. Of the Heavenly Father It's against the commandments And quite quite means a, st a stigma A mark branded on the skin Which would be the mark of the beast Okay So the same The same cyborg Transhumanist technology That Esau is pushing out Is essentially the mark of the beast Okay Which is the RFID chip But the whole movement Is 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 Is, is about uh, 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 um, in, implanting technology on the human body And that's against the scriptures Okay And those that uh, Take the mark Alright The RFID chip And those that um, Get cyber technology Implanted in them They're going to be destroyed Okay They're going to be destroyed Alright and this is just more news that's come out within the past week on Esau really, really pushing um, um, his agenda, okay? His Mark of the Beast agenda, which pertains to um, RFID microchips, which is a Mark of the Beast, and includes these different um, cyborg technologies, all right? So I'm going to uh, read Revelation 14. And I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to start at verse 6. It says, It says, And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. So this is why we do these videos, to give the, the everlasting gospel, okay? The prophets of Israel. Uh, verse 7, Saying with a loud voice, Fear the Most High and give glory to Him. And you do that by keeping his commandments. Okay? For the hour of his judgment is come. And worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. Okay? And there follow another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, which is America, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Because this is a this transhumanist thing is a global, okay, global thing, which is a part of Babylon's wine. Okay? Verse 9, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, okay, which is the RFID chip, okay, or get any of these cyborg technologies, all right? Verse 10, 
The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone, the nuclear missiles, and the presence of the holy angels, and in the presence of the Lamb. So you're going to be destroyed if you participate in this um, cyborg, this cyborg, um, this cyborg transhumanist movement, okay? And if you take these um, RFID chips, okay? All right. So with that, I'm uh, end it there. I'm gonna say uh, all praise to Yahweh Bashimah was shy. Okay. All glory to Yahweh Bashimah was shy. Shalom to you, the, the elect. Hope you were edified. And um, until the next article, until the next announcement, uh, until the next report, I'm gonna say shalom.